What's going on everybody? It is Craig and I'm back with movie number 79. Truth be told, I'm filming 79, 80, and 81 today, so you'll get one a day up until up until uh, Friday. So there you go. Um, for the dozen and dozens of you that wanted that. But I'm still this movie, Death PhD, 2024. This I was feeling really bad about giving uh, Behave a six. Like, in my head, I'm like, that doesn't deserve a six. But then going back and forth with the idea of, uh, yeah, but you cared about the characters, and it was a cool twist, and this and that, and I'm still, I'm still fighting that, even when I put six out of ten, I think. But the reason I did give that a six is because this next movie has the issue that I wish that, that I wish they had the casting, if you will, the, the, the directing, whatever term we want to use, because in this movie, Death PhD, which is a very interesting premise, like, I did, back in the day, did get into a PhD program, and around COVID, I stopped it just because I couldn't, some of you know I'm a college professor, um, I couldn't teach and be taught remotely at the same time, and eventually I'll get back to it, but um, it's more for myself to say current, which I do other ways anyway. But I only mention that because in this movie, that they're, they're parapsychology students in a, in a col in a in a college going for their PhD, which is very rare. If you know the United States, there are some pseudosciences, parapsychology, exobiology, cryptozoology that you can actually get PhDs in, which always confuses my students when we talk about it. But I explain it's sort of like concepts of philosophy, and you know, like not everything is true empirically grounded, even in the science world. Psychology, though, is definitely one of those that is. But, that aside. So, in this movie, they're essentially told, Hey, PhD students, you can continue your PhD, or you can go to a... Um, I just realized I didn't turn on my ring light, and I have perfect lighting, because I have a candle on here right now, so I, I kind of dig this vibe. But anyway, um, you could you go to this haunted house, and you know, stay there the night. Um, I think it was like 6 to 10 a.m., 6 p.m. to 10 p.m., whatever whatever sundown was. Uh, and in, if you sign up and leave early, then you drop out, like you're done with the program anyway, but if you stay, you get your doctorate. Which is interesting, because they were locked in the house. There was no getting out anyway. So it was more if you didn't die, then you got to get a PhD. Like, which those are some pretty high stakes there, so I, I don't know exactly. Um, and as you might guess, different students did for different reasons. You had the students who, I haven't even got a dissertation topic proposed, uh, approved yet. You know, I've got this. And then you have others, well, I'm not best in the class, but if somebody else goes, like, then I'll just be thrown by default. Like, I gotta go. Everyone's gotta go. We're in on it. It's like, okay. So they go to Haunted House. Uh, they all sign uh, NDAs, which, listen, I don't know about you. I, if I ever have an NDA put in front of me, if I was to sign it, that would take weeks of going back and forth with lawyers, seeing what my rights are, different things like that, etc. But they sign pretty quickly, and they go to the house, and there are there are rules that you have to follow. In essence, it's very much like a um, you know the, a typical slasher with the rules, I guess, but towards religion. Like the you die if you don't say grace when you're eating food. You die if you fornicate. Odd enough, marijuana is okay. And they even quote a biblical passage, like, he gave you the glass, have fun with it. Like, whatever. Okay, okay cool. So the person, people who did pot were scared. They broke the law, but apparently, like, coke and meth and all that is bad. But if it comes from the ground, you're good. So they're in the house, and there's ghosts. And it is a very, um, I will mention this, it is a it is a African-American cast. And I'm only telling you that to, to tell you what they're digging into. Like, it is the ghosts of a plantain. Um, a plantain, not a banana, a plantation. It goes to a plantation um, where they were abused, where they were slaves, and the slave holder is still there because she was poisoned at the time. Like, so they, they all work with that vibe, and some of it's a little cringy when they're telling them to go, I'm not going to say some of the things they're telling them to do, but here's the thing with this movie. Every character that they wanted you to make note of like this one girl who you thought was the center of everything because she was connected to the professor and this and that, like, she vanished. And then at the end you see her with one of the other people who became ghosts. Now, believe it or not, this movie has a post credit scene where it makes it seem like they have a plan. I wasn't. 
I'm going to give this movie a 5 out of 10. So, and I will say this. I dug it to an extent. It definitely wasn't perfect. But the fact that they gave that post credit scene is the only reason it made a 5. Because if it didn't, I'm like, they ignored A, B, C. They flipped this. They ignored that. Like, all sorts of everything. But since they did post credit scene, I'll give it a 5. And admittedly, if I see Death PhD 2 on Tubi for free when I'm scrolling for fine random movies to put in for my reviews, although by the time that comes out, I don't know if I'll be doing this next year, um, I'll, I'll probably check it out. But it is on Tubi. Again, good way to get a PhD. I, I don't know if I would say yes to go to a super haunted house without knowing more of the details. But then again, when I was younger, I used to go trespassing in haunted places with friends, and that's, you know, I didn't get a PhD for that, so who knows. But anyway, folks, 5 out of 10, movie number 79. Filming 80 and 81 today, so we're going to definitely get there. We might even go beyond the 100. I probably shouldn't say that, but we'll see. And remember, contest coming soon.